Hi, I'm Dave. I was diagnosed with stage 4 bile duct cancer about a year ago, and they told me that it's rare and aggressive, and I'm 65 years old. I immediately became an advocate for my own health. Um, I followed a clinical ketogenic diet along with fasting and exercise. And I researched and found out the best way with my cancer would be to starve it. So I incorporated a number of glucose and glutamine inhibitors and uh, I included metformin, uh, hydroxychloroquine, berberine, and uh, in conjunction with my chemotherapy. So that was all together, it was like a synergistic approach. I did six months of the chemo and uh, uh, to this day I continue with the ketogenic diet and the fasting. I also found it very important to have a great positive mindset and to surround myself with a tribe of supporters. Uh, my standard of care was chemo and uh, all the doctor visits that was included by my insurance and the other things the supplements and uh, they were relatively inexpensive off-label drugs that I had repurposed. So it was though a challenge to find the work um, written and studies done on the path that I took um, using the diet and fasting with chemo and the treatment I followed though surprised everyone it really did even me <laughs> during my last scan I remember my oncologist as soon as we got done with the scan the first thing out of his mouth was tell me more about the diet so that was really cool uh, he was on board with everything um, he just wanted to you know watch and and make sure that everything I did didn't interfere with what he was trying to do at the same time but I do have to say that the studies and the work and all the reading that I, that I eventually ended up doing was difficult to find online it was not easy a lot of it seemed like it was hidden even though there's new stuff new studies being done on a daily basis it just seems that it's not part of the oncology uh, circle you know I didn't hear any of this from my oncologist uh, it's stuff that I had to go and seek and then bring to their attention uh, I'm happy I'm sort of happy that I got the cancer because it really started me on this journey that uh, opened my eyes to this whole giant size medical industry and also uh, how I can help other people too who might be you know looking for an alternative solution I knew two things when I started with this that the ketogenic diet was not gonna hurt me and that fasting wasn't gonna hurt me either it's something I had done before and those two things were actually beneficial so that's my story